in the second phase uh, now we were discussing about the gajaski khun y chart now this particular y chart uh, clearly indicates about the basic three domains that is behavioral domain geometrical layout domain and structural domain now these are individual domain which has got its own attributes behavioral domain is only discussed about the designer if the designer know about the behavioral pattern of that particular target object target object is nothing but the object need to be designed another important domain that is geometrical layout domain now in that particular domaining it is again started with masking cell placement module placement and chip floor planning geometrical layout domain is nothing but need to be designed by physically or physical domain also another important domain is also important that is called structural domain it is also another type of modeling which is available for vlsi designer a vlsi designer if the designer doesn't know about the behavioral pattern or the physical layout of that particular target object then the designer can go for the structural domain or structural designing analysis it is a very easy one but it is time consuming as it starts with individual transistors the the moment individual transistors need to be connected with leaf cells those leaf cells again need to be connected for designing the alu or registers as we know the multiple registers are there to integrate a processor moving ahead with the more simplified view of vlsi design flow this is the step which is need to be done or ultimately the common architecture of a vlsi design flow which starts with cmos uh, system specifications the designer need to be understand what is all about of system once the designer know about the system he or she must go for the functional analysis what we have done way back before in digital electronics the functional design once it is so we achieved it now it to be verified why because if the function goes high or big then much number of transistors and uh, it is may be used due to the much number of length of the functional attributes so that particular functional design need to be minimized by using some minimization techniques as we know that what we done in digital electronics if minimization is required then it can be taken care finally it need to be designed using logic gates by using the digital electronics or digital logic every design there is a common process of designing and verification why because it is a common process need to be repeated in everywhere so this design iteration loop has to be uh, there in a vlsi design flow now as we can see here the circuit design which is nothing but once the designer is going through and they are okay with the logic circuit then that particular circuit need to be materialized by drawing the circuits once we are drawing and verify the circuit diagram it is absolutely okay then we must go for the physical layout the physical layout what is nothing but regularity modularity and granularity once we go for the correct four plus four planning and placement then we must go for the final step that is ic fabrication and testing this is the concept of design hierarchy we must go for we must understand also that this is the major concept of vlsi design where a big module if it need to be taken care and need to be done and dust by using a designer following a target time it is not suitable to go for that rather than by segregating the same task in multiple modules those modules can further be categorized in small small sub modules like here as we can showing the decomposition of structural decomposition of four bit adder showing the hierarchy levels if a four adders that are there they need to be segregated in four adders followed by the next segregation is nothing but we know that the adder can be sub categorized with carry and sum for the deep categorization of the carry can also be done using and and or gates so if you sacrifice this kind of thing automatically the individual characteristics operation can be done performly correctly rightly or so if you go for the sub categorization or sub modulization then automatically the whole process can be easily achieved by using so here are another structural decomposition of an electronic system also can given where it is nothing but a computer system which is of software and hardware we know that the software can only be designed and categorized using applications and os similarly the hardware can also be designed in multiple sub modules the multiple sub modules are showing like this way now the major important topic is nothing but regularity modularity and granularity where these are the thing which is very very important in this today's concept that regularity indicates that should not be you know decomposition process must not produce a large number of blocks modularity must have well defined interfaces and functionality similarly locality must be close you know the uh, individual blocks to each other in order to reduce the interconnection length the detailed discussion is nothing but this way where we can show the diagram itself it can depict the modularity